Remember we told you about Cary Lake, how we can watch things stolen in real time through the machines. So here's what we have to do and tell everybody you know. You have to vote what? In person. In person. In person. That's so important because I don't know. I believe God can do a miracle in these. I every single machine be melted down for prison bars before November 8th. But in case there's one left, we still got to vote in person, and we should be anyway. There should be no mail-in votes and stuff, but that's a whole other thing. All right, so right-wing kook and just overall psychopath at this point, Mike Lindell, recently hosted something called the Moment of Truth Summit. Uh, this guy is alleging that, you know, he's going to have an announcement and broadcast it related to the alleged election fraud that was perpetrated in 2020 uh, during the presidential campaign and election. Um, Lindell's gonna, he's telling the people that he has this grand announcement. The only way that this thing could fail is that people don't show up and, you know, watch this thing in droves. Back when we had the cyber symposium at Planet Seeds that a lot of you are here today, we're going to see the manifestation of those seeds this afternoon when we do the states by state address. If you're watching from home, everybody, the, um, we hope to get millions online. The only way this weekend fails is that people don't watch. Because Mike Lindell has never seen an internet grift or lie that he couldn't use for his own enrichment or to bring attention and notoriety to himself. Like he's basically been doing this for about going on two years now. Uh, this idea that he knows the deeper truth of the alleged quote unquote election fraud. I just want you to know when this weekend, when these couple of days are over, you're gonna see stuff that's gonna shock the country, shock the world. And so, of course, you guys should not be surprised that none other than Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene is at this very summit because this woman has not met a conspiracy theory, no matter how bad, how debunked, how factless it is. <laughs> she will go along with any right wing conspiracy theory because she's basically dug her heels on this. Um, it doesn't matter if it's QAnon, Pizzagate. It doesn't matter. She will attach herself to that. And to that effect, she said she's happy Mike Lindell is keeping this issue alive because to her mind, it's clearly one of the biggest issues that we have in America today. This is a great event. God bless all of you for coming out this weekend. And God bless Mike Lindell for fighting for America and making this one of the most important issues that we focus on. Not how you're going to um, pay for child care, your health care. Um, what type of wages you're making, housing, none of those things. <laughs> to Marjorie Taylor Greene, what's most important is the quote-unquote hoax of the 2020 election. How dare they tell you that you can't care about election integrity? How dare they tell you that you cannot have an audit? How dare they cancel you off of your social media account because you say that you want audits, you think the election's stolen, you say Trump won. How dare they do- So in this video, she goes on this unhinged rant, call and response almost, about who pays for the ballot boxes? You. Who owns the ballots? You. Who does- You. And you should audit it, and we should audit the election, and blah, blah, blah. You want an audit of these elections. Show us the proof. Why is that something to be ashamed of? Seriously, let's ask ourselves, who pays for the elections? Yes, you do. With what? Your money, right? Tax dollars. That means you own the machines. You own the ballots. You pay the people that get paid to, do, to run the elections. She has many problems with her dangerous and stupid rhetoric here. Um, I think it's dangerous to try to rile people up and get, to get them to think that democracy is somehow being subverted by some nefarious actors. That's up, it's dangerous. It's how a bunch of people got their heads busted on January 6th. Um, you know, but she's claiming that all, there's, there's many problems with this. Of course, Donald Trump had his day in court and judge after judge after judge laughed these clowns and their claims out of court. That's a one. So her claims are stupid. They already lost in court 
There's no nefarious nature to how this guy lost with the ballots. There was no funny business. Another problem that she has besides the court um, is that our elections nationally, locally, aren't a monolith. Um, <laughs> it's a bunch of localized systems that are different from one another everywhere you go. So that's a one. There's no, it's not centralized in the way there's this one election apparatus and somebody could just hack it and just rig it for somebody. It doesn't work like that. Every municipality handles it differently um, and has different rules and bylaws and all of that. So that's a one. It's nonsensical in that way. Second part, a lot of the people that are running these elections um, and, and running the, the ballots and all of that stuff are Republicans themselves. So you're denigrating the work of actual Republicans who do this thankless job, quite frankly. And lastly, Republicans kicking the Democrats' asses all up and down several of these ballots. Like this idea that it was only rigged against Trump and no other Republicans so that they could rule state houses, governor's mansions, all of that stuff makes absolutely no sense. Not to mention elections that had federal implications like for, you know, representatives and senators. Like the argument is stupid, it's baseless, and it's dangerous and they need to stop.